Good morning! So, once again, I am Mrs. Beverly Suarez, your teacher in grade 10 CSS. This is the second topic, which is about the opportunities in CSS as a career under PECs or the Personal Entrepreneurial Competencies. Okay, so now let's proceed to the objective for today. Or for this lesson, you are going to explore opportunities in CSS as a career. Okay, so let's talk about the CSS NC2 or Computer System Servicing National Certificate Level Number 2 under TESDA. Yes, CSS NC2 is a certification that the TESDA gives you if you pass their test. For CSS NC2. Okay, so it consists of competencies that must have, that you must have to allow you in making a diagnosis and troubleshooting problems in computer systems, software, restoring parts, and networking. A person who has achieved this quali qualification is considered as competent to be a computer service and repair technician. So it has three competencies, basic, common, and core. Let me show you my very own NC2 certificate from TESDA back in 2016. This is what it looks like. Yes, I am that one at the lower, lower right portion of that certificate. I have bangs, no charot. Okay, so why did I take it? Well, of course, I cannot teach you CSS if I myself am not competent. It will expire in five years, so as you can see, it will be valid until next year, February 2021. I will have to renew it. Okay, so, but here's the thing. If you already, on my case, if I took this, and I was practicing it because I was teaching it. I can renew it. I don't need to retake the test anymore because I'm practicing it. So let me tell you how dreadful it is, especially the training. Okay, so it's very tedious, like February, and ba? Okay, so kasagsagan yun ng Valentine's Day. Wala akong ibang hiniling na Valentine's gift kundi. RJ45s, saka crimping tool set, land tester, and um, UTP cables. Okay, so yun. Uh, halos isang linggo kami nag-train nun. And isang linggo rin ako nagpa-practice talaga. Okay, so hindi lang siya basta networking, like cabling. Hindi lang din siya assembling, disassembling, or and reformatting. Nandiyan na kasi yung server configuration and yun yung mga steps na kailangan yung i-memorize. So, mamememorize mo nyo lang siya kung gagawin nyo siya ng gagawin. Napapractice nyo siya ng napapractice. Okay, kahit wala kayong kopya, uh, mamememorize nyo siya. So, yan ang focus natin ngayon sa grade 10 CSS. Okay, now moving on. <laughs> There's a big demand for computer service and repair technician. It's growing in every organization and industry. For many, this is the entry point for a career in the computer or IT field. The responsibilities of a computer service and repair technician include a variety of duties. Most companies that employ someone with this title expect the technician to have basic across the board knowledge of concepts in computer electronics. Well, up next is a short video to help you understand more how demanding the computer jobs are. And today, in this series, we will talk about everything and anything about PC troubleshooting. So let's get started. I have noticed one unfortunate and common belief that people tend to blame themselves for just about anything that goes wrong inside their computer. This is not always true, of course. Computer crashes for a number of reasons, and most of the time, it's not really our fault. 
Yes. Yet, when the computer sometimes does something strange or unexpected, even I catch myself saying, what I have done. So guys, always remember this saying, never let your computer know you're in a hurry. Computers can smell fear. They will slow down if they know that you're running out of time. So guys, in today's time, the computer is considered as one of the most used machines in the society. We use the computer in many aspects of our daily lives. It makes our tasks easier and faster. It is therefore inevitable that we might encounter different types of computer problems and issues. Some problems may require simple solutions and some are not, which require the help of a computer technician to resolve them. So before we plan on doing any troubleshooting, let us first know what is PC troubleshooting is. So, it is a systematic approach to solving problems related to personal computers. It involves the process of diagnosing the system to identify the source of the problem. It also involves the implementation of an action plan that will solve the problem and prevent other problems that can occur in the future. Okay, so that's how it works, the job of a computer technician. Okay, moving on. Some of the tasks are hardware repair and installation. Those are the common things. Software installation, upgrade and configuration also for some people, and troubleshooting client and or server problems. Today, technicians are capable of viewing desktop and sharing control of mouse and keyboard through remote assistance. Because the computer field is changing rapidly, technicians must work to remain abreast of current technology and be aware of future developments. Kaya nga dapat, hindi lang kayo nagpo-focus kakanoob, kakanoob? Kakanood sa YouTube ng kung ano-ano. Okay? So, manood kayo ng mga common, well, mga developments no? pagdating sa IT. Kasi maraming nagbabago every second. Okay, up next... This has something to do with what must a computer, a CSS technicians have. So computer service and repair technicians generally work with a variety of users. Siyempre, iba-iba mga boss mo dyan, iba-iba mga clients mo, which require expert people skills. Marunong ka dapat makipag-usap sa kanila. Hindi ka pwede magsalita ng mga technicalities kasi nga nga. Okay, so especially the ability to work with groups of non-technical users, right? So you must be able to explain to them in normal English kung ano yung nangyayari sa kanilang device, anong dapat nilang gawin. Do not expect those non-technical users to understand you if you are giving them a lot of technical words. Okay, though sometimes wala tayong maipapalit sa technical words, right? Pero, try to work it out. You would, uh, ha you would be having some of these work activities. So, sometimes you will refurbish, maintain, and install computer systems and equipment as a computer service and repair technician. And your everyday, everyday job would consist of the following. So, you set up kind of IT systems. Taga assemble ka ng computer, improving systems of hardware and software, taga upgrade ka, fix PCs and other defective equipment, testing equipments, servicing printers, scanners, and other office equipments, preparing cost estimates, kung papa estimate sa kung may bibilin silang bagong equipments, ganyan, performing routine administration, so under yan ang maintenance. Okay? So, matrabaho, and it requires a lot of skills talaga. So, your job would require the following conditions. So, syempre, hindi lang puro trabaho, trabaho, trabaho. May mga perks ka rin dyan. Una-una, traveling. Kaso, hindi leisurement yan, okay? Traveling kasi you get to see the clients on site as a field technician. Mapupunta ka sa iba't ibang lugar pag may papaservice sa'yo. Okay, ganun. So, you would be assigned at an office, but would ex that you will expend time with staff at their workplace. 
in an IT support development. Yes, okay. So, medyo naglaga ko na lang. Okay, so, kung nasa workplace ka man, nasa office, nasa IT department ka. Okay, and talagang ikaw ang tatawagan nila. Like, mag-ring. For example, ah, scenario. Ma'am, hindi ko makonek sa internet yung PC. Papunta naman po dito sa baba. Bababa ka ngayon, okay? So, ganun, mga ganong charot. Next, is the skills, interests, and qualities. You should possess the following skills and qualities to become a computer service repair technician. So, syempre, profound knowledge. So, ibig sabihin, bonggang knowledge talaga of hardware and commonly used software and operating systems. Dapat hindi lang Windows ang alam niyong operating systems, okay? Marami pa po. Excellent skills in communication and customer service. Super problem-solving skills. Patience, okay? You must be patient. And systematic approach is needed. Meet the deadlines. Keep abreast with IT developments. And deep understanding of electrical safety issues. Sounds mahirap. Yes, mahirap. Pero once masanay ka naman dyan, masasanay ka rin. Okay, so a person who has achieved the... Computer System Servicing National Certificate Level 2 or NC2 qualification is competent to be a computer service and repair technician. So once maipasa mo lahat ng competencies sa NC2 ng TESDA, by the way, may bayad yun ha. Pag nag-apply ka niyan, babayad ka ng 500 something yata, if I remember it correctly, sa TESDA para dun sa assessment. Halimbawa, isa sa mga competencies ang hindi mo naipasa, magre-retake ka. Okay? Retake ka ulit ng pangalawa, pero ang retake mo lang ay yung competency na hindi mo naipasa. Pero mabayad, babayad ka pa rin. So, kung ay mo magbayad na magbayad, <laughs> nakaka-retake, kailangan ipasa mo siya talaga. So, the demand of computer service and report technician is growing in every organization and industry. For many, this is the entry point for a career in computer or information field. So, yes. Actually, sa call center, nung nag-apply ako back then, lagi akong napupunta sa screening ng technical support representatives kasi computer science yung aking bachelor's degree. Okay, no, na-apply naman ako as teacher sa college. Napunta naman ako sa computer programming kasi computer science nga ang aking bachelor's degree. So, parang kung ano yung skills mo, lagi ka napupunta sa ganung field, no? Sa computer or IT field. So, expect that, yes, you will refurbish. Ibig sabihin ng refurbish ay mag upgrade ka, magpapalit ka, replace, repair, ganyan. Maintain and install computer systems and equipment. This is a dirty job. Expect na ang kamay mo maalikabok lagi sa pagbabaklas. Okay, normal yun. Okay, minsan nagtuturo ko na may kung ano-ano alikabok sa da, sa uniform ko at sa kamay ko. Kasi gan, ganun talaga, ganun talaga ang trabaho. Okay, so expect na ganun. Kung maarte ka, <laughs> okay, kailangan huwag ka muna maging maarte like that. Kung presko ka, hindi ka pwede maging presko pag ganyan ang ginagawa mo. Okay, so <clears throat> that talks basically everything about the career opportunities for CSS and C2 holder. And so, thank you very much and I'll see you again on the next lesson. Okay? Bye!